welcome back to the channel everybody griffin here i uh, just wanted to thank you guys for your patience uh, we've gotten some more subscribers and while most people aren't subscribed to watch our videos um, we'd love to encourage you to subscribe as we'll hopefully be back here late in the summer and into the fall with some some good golf content uh, this morning i'm finally back out at hawthorne hills again uh, with mike my brother-in-law and we're playing the back nine i have probably played golf one or two times in the last two months uh, so it's it's nice to get back out there and uh, and give it a try again we both made par on the opening hole um, and we were talking after i'm not sure that's ever happened before a good two iron a really good seven iron into the green and two putt we'll certainly take it wanted to leave these two tee shots and you can see you know about three feet after the ball has left mike's club there it's gone <laughs> uh, quite a foggy and overcast day um but it really started out quite well um not afraid to hit the driver because it's been so long um you know just trying to hit some different clubs and, and and get a feel for where my game's at that's a little bit more of uh hasn't played golf in a couple of months four iron there uh, and, and by the way we've got some new wedges video coming soon but uh, we, we've upgraded to some tailor-made wedges for our bag a little astray there with the first shot with our 54 but uh, that's all right we're on the green we're putting for birdie now when I hit this I knew it was probably a little bit low but it catches that lip and almost accelerates away from the hole um, We've got like six feet here, and I knew as soon as I hit that one, it wasn't going to go in. I probably even knew before I hit it. So we're one over onto our third hole of the day. I decided to hit a five iron. We've hit a lot of two irons on this hole before. Um, I kind of catch it heavy or fat, uh, one of those two, uh, and it, you know, pretty, pretty big draw going to the left. Uh, this is the 50 degree. I uh, used to have a 51, now we've got 50 to try to close a little bit of a yardage gap in the bag. And that's maybe pulled a little bit. Um, rather than taking out a wedge here, the smart play is to putt it, and, and that's a pretty good one. Though, there is this cut in the grass that that ball hops over after about a foot, and fortunately it went in. 227 yards on this par 3 here today, into the fog. Um, Mike hit a four iron, I've got a four iron. This is potentially my best shot of the year here. Um, it's all over the pin. I mean, did I know that after about 10 feet? No, but, but you can see where Mike's ended up and, and there's mine with about four feet left for birdie. And we clean it up, back to even par. I was coming up with some new thoughts about my driver and my putter for that matter in my time away from the game. And uh, the big thing that was resonating with me was just make solid contact on the face. And I've been doing that with my driver, but it's gonna take a little bit of time with these new wedges. That is a sculled 50 degree. But not in a bad spot on this hole. You certainly don't want to be long of the pin, and that pitch shot's probably a little bit less than my best, but 10 feet for par. We'll take our chances. Pretty well struck, just maybe a little bit of a misread. So we've got a bogey. I'm leaving this glassy putt in from Mike here. We couldn't believe this didn't make it down to the hole. That is the third perfect driver of the day. For whatever reason, it was just locked in. I've been you know, thinking about what do I want to do differently, good tempo, moving the ball a little bit further forward in my stance, and it seemed to be working out. This is an eight iron into the par five. Wanted to probably be short, had about 185 yards and was. I have historically struggled to make birdie on this hole, and with an eagle putt that leaves me like four feet, I'm not feeling good about birdie. I should, per previous results, stop and read this putt and line it up, but I took a different approach and just got up there and smacked it in. 
This is a little bit of a turning point on the round. I tweaked something in my back on this tee shot here. Totally fine just off the fairway. But as I started walking down the hole, just didn't feel quite right. Wasn't able to really put a ton of weight onto my left side and get through things. That's a punchy seven iron that rolls up onto the front of the green. Bit of a lengthy and little bit of uphill putt here. Right down the line, just lacked about two feet of pace to get it there to the hole. We're gonna clean up for an easy par. Whenever there's a back pin on 17, I really struggle to get it there. And this is a pretty well struck eight iron, a little bit of a push, but it's just hard to get it back there online on that level. Now, you're not necessarily rewarded with a straight putt if you are back there, but um, that one got really close and Modern gave it to me. The left side issues come up here on the driver and I think the club head just got way out in front and we hit what is almost a snap hook. And I step up over this 200 yard shot with a four iron and don't really commit to it and that is way right. Uh, we wanted to be along those trees right in front of us. So you can see the pin there on the right. I have to chip out to the left and hope that the uh, 40 foot par putt uh, can get us home at even par. I read this just inside that tree to the right of the pin and I probably needed to split the difference. We're gonna end with a bogey, a 37 though in our first round back, we love it. If you like this content, like and subscribe. We'll be back with more, hopefully, weekly.